Hello, my name is Wendy Morales, and today you will see me implement a third grade lesson plan regarding the art history of Picasso displayed through a timeline. According to PHA's pedagogical content knowledge, third graders are in the concrete operational stage of PHA's cognitive growth. My lesson will be structured learning, where I will choose the experience and give direction for the student's learning. First, I will begin by introducing Picasso with a short video. I will then further explain what the video is saying by using a timeline of Picasso's art history. The student will then create a self-portrait of himself inspired by Picasso. Afterwards, the child will place in the timeline Picasso paintings according to their time period to assess him informally in their art history. Finally, he will create his own timeline about important events that has happened in his life. So have you ever heard of Picasso? No. No? Do you know what a timeline is? No. No? Okay, so today I'm going to start out with, so you can know a little bit of who Picasso is and what he did, I'm going to show you a little video about him, okay? Okay. Picasso is one of the greatest painters ever. So now you just watched a video over Picasso. Today we're going to learn about Picasso, who he is, and about timeline and what is a timeline. A timeline is to tell the time frame or when a person lived, like certain events of a person's life. In this particular timeline, we're only going to be talking about his career. So this is a career Pablo Picasso timeline. It's not that his whole entire life. You can put so many details in a timeline. It just depends on what you want to do. Now, in Picasso, the little video that I just showed you, we learned that he was a what? Um, what did he do? He painted. He painted, yes. And one of the periods that he had as a painter, meaning a little time frame in his life, he did a lot of blue paintings, which was called the blue period. Someone says, oh my god, look. He looks so blue. Or whenever people say there's a genre of music called the blues. What kind of music is that? And what kind of feeling do you put with the color blue? Sad. Yeah, sad. So during that time period, Picasso was very was sad because of things that happened in his personal life. So all his paintings were blue. As you can see in this picture, there's an old man with a guitar. And he's very, very sad. Now, from 1905 to 1907 was the Rose Period. The Rose Period, Picasso painted everything in shades of red, pinkish, like really lively. He was really happy during this time period because he was in love. So when you're in love, you know, for example, Valentine's Day, what color is Valentine's Day? Red and pink. Yeah, red and pink. So that's how he was showing his emotions, his expression through his painting with shades of red and pinks. Here is an example of a picture in the Rose Period by Picasso. So now we're in 1908 and 1909. Was the African Influence Period. This is a picture of that time period. He just wanted to portray his feelings towards slavery and it inspired him to actually um, do these pictures. Okay. And finally, one of the main reasons that Picasso was very, very famous was because something that he invented in the art world, which is called Cubism. He invented this with another painter. Different. I have different kind of pictures so you can see what, what you think they mean. Like, what do they have in similar? <coughs> they have like a little bit like of skeletons and some, some weird lines. Skeletons and weird lines? What do you think those lines mean? They're like every shape is like right tangled. Does it does it look like a like a regular picture? Like No. It, it has a lot of shapes in the picture. Doesn't it? Yes. So cubism is more with like it deals because with shapes. Because had this picture that was called self-portrait. And meaning about himself. Now I'm going to show you these different kind of self-portraits that people have made, and also himself. Like, what are, do these look like a portrait of someone? Does this look like some, actually a person? No. No, right? It has different shapes and shading and colors and all this other stuff happening. 
So what we're gonna do right now is you're gonna create your own self-portrait. You're gonna be like a mini Picasso and do your own little painting. First, I want you to understand, you see here, mm -hmm. you can see that there's two eyes, you see a nose, and you see a mouth. But look, can you see that there's a man right there? Mm -hmm. Can you see that there's a man or a woman there too? Yes. Yeah, see? It creates an illusion in a way. Mm -hmm. So can you explain to me what your drawing is about? Like, um, first the little head and then I make the big head. So now that we learned a little bit about Picasso and what he did, um, I want you to come up here and I want you to look closer to the timeline. Mm -hmm. You see the timeline? Yes. You see how it goes all in order? The numbers? And then it shows you what period it is? Now, remember there was the blue period, the African influence period, and the rose, rose period. And, well, and the cubism period. Now, looking at this picture right here, mm -hmm. which one do you think it is? Rose period. Okay, now I want you to put it above or below the rose period. This one is blue period. Okay, go ahead and put it. Okay. Finally, what about this? What period was this? All right. So you said cubism had a lot of different shapes. Now, what was so it, what was so important about the rose period? That um, it was about about he was happy and and. Like he was, he was in love. Oh, so he, what kind of colors did he use? Um, blue, and, I mean pink. Pink and reds, okay. And what about the blue period? Uh oh, sad. Sad, and what kind of colors did he use? Blue. Blue, and what about the African influence period? They've been a slave. Slaves, good job, good job. Okay, now that we created this and we know what picture goes with what, now you're going to create your own timeline. First, I want you to write down, brainstorm some important times in your okay. life. So first, we know now, this is your timeline, mm -hmm. Jonathan's timeline. You were born on... 2002. You were born in 2002. Now, what do you think is another thing that's important? Let's look at your... In 2000. Then I went to California. Okay, and then what's something that's going to happen to you in the future? What in grade are you going to go next year? Four. Four? So what's going to happen in 2012? I'm going to go to fourth grade. There you go. Look, you have Picasso, Pablo Picasso's timeline, and you have yours. Like what happened in your timeline? You had a birthday party, you had Disney, you went to Disneyland in 2010, in 2011, unfortunately, your dog died, and you're, in the future, you're going to go to fourth grade in 2012. And we we'll also learned about Picasso and his painting, a little history about who Picasso is and why he's famous.